Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Chriselle, and today we're continuing on with Subnautica. Now, this is part number three, so if you've not watched previous episodes, definitely gonna watch those ones first. I'll probably leave the full playlist link for this playthrough down in the description box, and all my social links will be down there as well. Alright, so for today, I'm kind of thinking that we go out and explore a little bit because we had quite a few different life pods, but I'm also kind of thinking that maybe we should do some base building because I feel like that will just make the exploring a lot easier. So I'm not entirely sure if we'll have time to do both today, but we'll just kind of see. I'm hoping that we can do both because that would just be really nice. Yes, anyways, we will be streaming this live on Twitch, so if you see, I'll talk my so I'm talking to people, that is why. Also, to first subscribe to me on YouTube and give it a thumbs up if you're liking it, it helps me a lot. But otherwise, let's just go and get started. I have a million life pods that I need to go to, but I'm thinking that I might try to make uh maybe not a full base, but like part of a base, just so I can make some some recharge my battery. Oh, I have one battery, that's good. Oh, zero zero percent charge. That's less good. What what is happening? Home? Hello? <laughs> I, you know, that's a good question. I ask myself that every day. <laughs> the real question is, what are you? <laughs> oh my. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Trying to remember uh, what triggered what you saw. I have no idea. I haven't done anything today so far. <laughs> But maybe from last time that I played, if it if it counts as one day still. Okay, I guess I'll just put this right here. I feel like... <laughs> I'm not sure if I should put this here. Okay, did that work? Construct? Deconstruct? Oh, I see. Ah. Wow. Okay, cool. Alright. Seems good. I really hope I can put a battery thing in here. It's a little camera too. Deconstruct. How do I get in there? Hey, let me fucking in. <laughs> this is my house. Oh, I see. Yes, you need a hatch to, to enter the habitat. Okay, I think I can make that still, actually. I think I have quartz in here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, there we go. Oh, cool. I'm so glad that I have enough materials. I just wanted to, like, build stuff today, and I was worried that I would have to, uh... I don't know. Go and go. Oh wow, that's a big hatch. Sure, yeah, right there is fine. Wow. Okay, cool. Nice. Settling in for the long haul achievement. Cool. Can I get in there? Oh my god. Emergency power only. Oxygen production offline. Wow. There's so much space. Scanner room upgrades. <laughs> Fabricator. Okay, so it's basically like a larger version of what I was already using. So I need some sort of power. Solar panel. Powers ha habitat oxygen generation. Okay, so I need that. Base attached air pump. Pumps oxygen from a powered habitat to an attached pipe network. Is my little guy, my life pod, is that considered a powered habitat? So I like, can't connect your life pod to the base. Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, that's too bad. Uh, okay. So I will- I would need to get solar panel then. It's floating a little, but it probably works, right? <laughs> yeah, there we go. It's fine. <laughs> Habitat power restored. Okay, cool. Oh my god, I am the captain now. Okay, what the hell is that? The green blink? Oh, is that me? Oh, camera. Control camera. Why would I need this? Distance? Oh shit, oh that's so cool. Oh, okay, so you can detach? Would I need to, oh, there's different cameras. Why would you be <laughs> a little suspicious, but sure. Okay, so you've got cameras and then cave sulfur creature egg heat area what is cre yeah tell me about creature eggs oh is this the thing this is the thing that scans to tell you kind of where things are well oh i see the yeah the giant map <laughs> okay so the red things then that's my guess how do you know where is north and south on the like on the map i know you can get a, a compass later which i should probably make too the fabricator in here is different scanner room hud chip computer chip and magnetite i don't think i've found magnetite before it streams data from scanner rooms to the hud what does that mean would that mean like if i if i'm scanning uh for like the things on the map it would show on my hud 
or what does that mean? Camera drone? Scanner room range upgrade. Oh, so maybe if I have to be within a certain range in order for that to work. Yeah, it'll show the scanner room is searching on your helmet hood. Oh, that's so cool, actually. Okay, that's quite good. Okay, let's make a lock. Wow, these are big, actually. Oh, that's less big. Sorry, I thought it was like this big. <laughs> the perspective really threw me off. Okay, cool. Let's make... Actually, I'm gonna put this on the side because I kind of... Maybe I can put my aquarium over there. Okay, there we go, locker time. I wonder if I'll have enough for two lockers. Oh, it's so beautiful. Look at all that storage space. Oh, look at all the storage space. I am putting all the fucking eggs in here. I have way too many and they take up so much space. Let's put down my little aquarium. Wow. It's so cute. Okay, and now I need to get my little buddy to put in there. I guess I could have grabbed him before. Oh, that's fine. Whoa. Camera? Hey! You <laughs> hey, put that down! I understand why you can craft cameras now. <laughs> Is it because, did I not dock it properly or can they just rip that out? Can I? There we go. Oh my God, he steals my docked one too. Fuck off, man. What the hell? I wonder if I could like put them inside. Yeah, you can. Okay, I'm gonna make a modification station because I know that was something that was said I should make. I also then needed silver in order to make a wiring kit in order to make battery charger. I don't remember where silver was from though. Use. Ah, okay. Survival knife upgrades. Thermal blade. Propulsion cannon upgrades. Repulsion cannon. Oh. Cyclops depth module MK2. Okay, I don't have the blueprints for any of this, but at least we've got the station for it now, uh, whenever we do find them. I'm gonna put all of this in here because I think I just need silver, but if we're gonna go out and explore anyways, then... I'll just put that stuff away. Oh, scannable. Limestone chunk. I guess I should scan this just- Be advised, a common complication for cave divers is loss of orientation, followed by eventual asphyxiation. 30 seconds. <laughs> the oxygen warning right at that point. Yeah, that's correct. Oh, there's a wreck here. Uh... Should I be going in here? I always die when I go in these things. Ah. Ben and PDA. Okay, it was worth it. <laughs> Integrating new PDA data. Okay. Any other scannables? This one's quite small, actually. I don't think I've seen this before. Eye stock. Inventory full. How big? Really? Bigger than that. I can't drop anything. Oh, I could drop lead. I bet you it's four, isn't it? Fuck. It is what? your primary directive to swim closer to the beach and full free. What? Ah! Swim what did she say? Swim hey, can you can you repeat that? <laughs> swim closer to what? What is this thing? Hey, can you, can you say that? Ah! <gasps> wait, 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 say it again. Say it again. Wait, wait, say it again. I wasn't paying attention. I have ADHD. Come on. My mem, please. I was... I killed it. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> Your primary objective to swim closer to something. Jellyfish. It's so dark under there. Your primary objective to swim closer to that creature. What? Swim closer. To what? Swim closer now. To what? To what? <gasps> oh my god, my health! Oh fuck, I didn't bring my med kit. I was just supposed to be here for silver. Just luring you in for a nibble. Oh, I thought she was, I thought it was saying like a location because it was the, the same voice as um whatever the thing that popped up earlier. My bad. <laughs> Okay, let's um, let's heal. 
Yeah, that's good. And then, <laughs> let's read, I guess. Mesmer. Small carnivorous life form with a unique hunting mechanism that enables it to hypnotize its foes. I see. Assessment, draw closer. <laughs> <laughs> I see, okay. The mesmer swims using a number of wings which can be angled up and forwards on approaching its prey. A tiny lenses on the surface can be tilted independently to create mesmerizing patterns which flood the victim's brain with enticing messages, interpreted in whatever form is most convincing by the target. It was quite convincing! I did want to keep going back. <laughs> So I could hear what it said. Oh, okay. Outer shell. The mesmeric can open the jaw-like recess in its protective outer shell in order to error 463. In order to what? In order to nibble, share its beauty, to not resist. Ah. <laughs> I see. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty. Oh yeah, we also got a, a PDA, the Gassy Crew Members Manifest. Auxiliary Search and Rescue Mission, Bart Torgal, Vice President of Torgal Corp. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Apologies if I'm not. Status, Lost in Space near Planet 4546B. Is that where I am right now? <laughs> I forget. Age and Time of Disappearance, 19. 19? You're 19 but Vice President of a Corporation? Okay, Bart. The only legitimate child of Paul Torgal. This makes more sense. Okay, okay. Beneficiary of enhanced learning techniques and cerebral implants. What is cerebral? I forget. Digi trained in advanced biochemistry and stellar economics. Emissary Kassar reports Bart was accompanying his father to a newly constructed deep space station where he was to serve a five year term as chief operating officer. Oh, cerebral's brain. Brain? Brain impl implants? Oh, that changes things a little bit. Huh? <laughs> okay, interesting. So I wonder if he also then underwent the cere cerebral implant. Curious. Got that fancy brain. <laughs> okay, I think we've got enough for everything so we can make a battery charger. I wonder if you could make more than one, probably more than one battery charger. Just so that, uh, you know, you can make more faster, I suppose. Hmm. Maybe right here? Let's put it right there. Yeah! Okay! It's interesting, this thing almost looks like a battery charger to you. Okay, well, first of all, you can charge that one. Wow, okay! That's great! Look at those go! It's quite slow, <laughs> I will say. But hey, I mean, it's better than nothing. Seamoth. Did I make one of those? Titanium ingot power cell. Do I need one of those? I guess I should make one, huh? Oh yeah, my hoverfish! <gasps> I can put my buddy in the aquarium! Yeah, my little guy! Oh, he's so cute! Empty. Use? Ah, I see! There you go. <laughs> Why does he swim like that? He's so static. <laughs> He's just a little guy. I love him. My weird little meow meow. <laughs> What's he doing? He is simply spinning, my guy. You know what? This guy's mine now. <laughs> He's going in the aquarium too. <laughs> just for his spinning. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you, thank you. Happy to be here. There we go. Our spinning queen. Insufficient power. Next charge attempt in four seconds. Oh, because it's nighttime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's a solar, solar powered. Okay, that's fine. I think we have got enough batteries for now. Okay, here we go. Pick up some food fine. I don't remember how much we need, but I guess I can just pick some up for like extra storage as well. Oh right, this was the spooky area with the the mesmerizing fish, right? Or maybe it wasn't, but I think it was somewhere around here. Whoa. Hello? No. Oh! Ah! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I was gonna say, oh, I remember this place. This is where we burned alive. <laughs> What was I even trying to build? <laughs> I don't remember. Sima. That was the one. Shh. I saw it. I stared at it for a second and I'm like, is it though? Is it? Of course it is. Of course. <laughs> okay. We're good. There's none in there. Stop. Which means I've been jump scared by these already. I hate it here. 
I just want your silly little rocks. What is that noise? Oh my god. Yeah, that's what it is, of course. Why would it be anything <laughs> anything different? There we go. Okay. Titanium ingot. Make some glass. Now we should be good to make our sea maw. Holy. There we go. Safe mode of transport. But remember that swimming is good for your glutes and endorphin levels. Didn't you say last time that I succeeded my- Oh my god. Jesus, you should drop it like that? Okay. Whoa. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thanks. Oh, you got the temperature and everything. 27 Celsius inside here? Fucking warm. Okay. What? Hey. Watch where you fuck you're going. <laughs> Or did I hit him? Oh my god. <laughs> like bugs in a windshield. <laughs> my bad, my bad. <laughs> oh, this is quite fast. I don't know if I like the sound. I feel like I'm gonna blow up. Okay. Oh, okay, I've got a flashlight. And it says 100 for, what is that, repair? Oh, power cell. Oh, so the Seamoth runs off of a power cell. Ew, okay, so then maybe I should be bringing a backup of that as well then. Cup it. Oh my god, Gary Fish, get out of the way. <laughs> Watch where you're fucking going, man. Dumbass. <laughs> Okay, so this is where you would put the modules. So if I leave this here, like do I have to dock this here? Or I can just park this anywhere. And then second question, if I leave this here like outside overnight, will one of these fuckers come and like try and steal it? Oh my god, these fucking Gary fish keep pulling their heads. Seamoth is safe from the smaller lab. Larger boys, however. Oh, okay, okay. Reaper Leviathan would probably fuck up my Seamoth. Okay, fluid analyzer, non-functional. Non-functional, but I can place it. So, pick up fluid analyzer, non-functional. Oh, and then what was this one? Sample analyzer, non-functional. Okay, well, you know what? You can both go on the ground if you're not functional. I've got another radio message, it seems. There we go. Okay, they don't work, but you know, they're there and out of my storage, so I'll take it. <laughs> uh, I should really check the, the radio. I think that's the second radio thing we've had now. Repair tool. I really thought I was really smart for that. <laughs> cool, now I can upgrade a high capacity O2 tank for my secondary tank, because that was another thing that I needed to do. Okay, now we can listen to the radio. Finally. This is Altera HQ. This may be your only communications window. We can't send a rescue ship all the way out there, so Aurora, you're just gonna have to meet us halfway. We've uploaded blueprints to the ship's We're computer. Sandwich run. You in? Uh, yeah, give me a second. Black box data shows the high security terminal in the captain's quarters is still functional. Becky's but... leaving like in five minutes. All right, well, tell Becky I'll just take the, the regular. The regular? Yeah, she'll know what I mean. The code should and be... she doesn't? <laughs> just tell her the regular, dude. Okay, the if I say regular, she's like, what's the regular? I have to come all the way back up here. The code should be 2679. The regular is just a ham and cheese. Okay, would well, you just say ham and cheese? 2679. Okay. Noted, noted. Ham and cheese. He likes ham and cheese. Okay. <laughs> God damn it, Becky. You go wait a second for the sandwich run. Okay, high security terminal, captain's quarters. Before they lost communications, Altera HQ uploaded a set of blueprints of the Aurora's main computer. There is a high security terminal inside the captain's quarters located behind the prawn bay, from which the blueprints should be accessible. The code is 2679. Oh, I didn't even have to write it down. It's in here. Okay, cool. That's good. Yeah, we haven't actually gone back to the Aurora since the, f what was that, the first day? and ended up dying. And now we've got another radio message. Is that two? This is life pod seven. seven. Coordinates attached. Pod is structurally sound, but the fabricators bust. Requesting assistance. Seven out. Signal coordinates okay. corrupted. Approximate transmission origin recorded to data bank. Sound like he was being held at gunpoint or something. <laughs> so, all right. Crew reported problems with their onboard fabricator sunk to 200 meters in an area of low ecological activity. Transmission origin approximately one kilometer southwest of Aurora's stern section. What is the stern? <laughs> okay, should we go to life pod 12? Oh, here's another life pod. Have I been here before? Life pod six. 
Oh, sorry. Um, I see a thing here. Have I been here? Ultra glide fins. Sure. Oh, maybe this was one of the ones. Light pod six. PDA. Nice. Maybe this was one of the ones where you don't. Um, you don't get like a proper location. Oh my god, you got two. Wow, we're kind of far down. Oh my god. <laughs> Scared me. My bad. Okay, um, let's listen to these crew logs. Okay, life pod six crew log number Ma one. I need you to stay calm. We're not in immediate danger. Where are the rescue teams? The Aurora did Ooh, make accent. it. So, where are the rescue teams? They're dead, ma'am. We have rendezvous coordinates, but the routes are radiated. So, what are you going to do? I'm head of human resources, ma'am. This is not my expertise. But the PDA says if we can find some lead, we can make radiation suits. Oh, there! I am not setting foot outside this life pod without the proper protection. Don't worry. I'll go. Well, they're probably dead now. <laughs> okay, and there's a second one for the same life pod. What are you doing? You were gone so long. I thought you drowned. Put the flare down. I was going to try and attract someone's attention. That's not a distress flare. Stop waving it around like that. You'll catch the fuel line. Oh. oh. <laughs> um. Rip. <laughs> that is unfortunate. Okay, I did see. <laughs> I did see that there was a wreck here. Is this the one that I was exploring before? Oh, maybe I haven't been here. Wait, let me in. There's no way I can't fit through this wide open space. What do you mean? This is all open. What do you mean? Why is there a wall? Hello? What? What? What's up with the spooky music? What? What was that about? Okay, I'm chopping. I'm chopping open. This music freaks me out. Okay. There we go. Hello? Okay. Um, okay, I'm gonna quickly pick this up. Lightweight, high capacity tank. Oh! Okay. Okay, I see a spooky. <laughs> Do I want to go down there? Maybe I'll go up for air first. Anything else I can scan down here? Oxygen. Okay. Come on. Why is it not swapping? No. Why is it not swapping? I'm dead. Ah. Okay, you died and lost some belongings. I was def- I definitely clicked on my second tank. The second one was empty? I wonder if there's an- oh, there is a, a bottom entrance. Right there. Okay. Because I feel like it's scarier to go down. Oh, it just goes right here. Okay, then we'll go into the other one because the other one looked a lot farther. Spooky. Is there just nothing here? Oh, here. <laughs> I see. Okay, we gotta be careful. There we go. Vehicle upgrade console. Nice. How is my repair at 85%? Did that many Gary fish bonk into it? Oh my. Can I just repair like this? Maybe not. How do I repair it? Oh, maybe this guy was fucking around with it. Access upgrades. Hmm. Flash the back to when you intentionally tried to ram. <laughs> Hey, you know, they, you gotta, you gotta show them who's boss. Yeah, I did. I guess I did. <laughs> okay, sh shut up, shut up. Hey, 69% nice. <laughs> what is this? Feature egg. My inventory's full. That's so much titanium. I've never seen the blue one before. We weren't even supposed to be over here. That was just a pleasant surprise. Where was I supposed to be going? Oh my god, he's smoking. I'm so sorry. <laughs> 59%. Should we go over here? Are we gonna die? Oh. 
mushies. Oh, there's more of these guys. Yeah, we saw these on day one, I think. I didn't really get to interact with them, though. Wow, mushies! Tree mushroom. Wow! They got little purple things on them, too. Not these. We already saw those before. Oh, blue things. Gru cluster. I can't scan it. Can't hit it. Okay. What was the purple thing? These ones. What was that sound? Oh, was that those? Repair tool. Oh, I see. Yes. Don't cut into your... <laughs> Just see. Ah, <laughs> uh, makes sense. Makes sense. Tree mushrooms analysis of these large organic structures reveal a micro... Microcism? Of cooperating, cohabitating, and competing life forms. Assessment exploitable. What does that mean? Oh, this is different. Moon, moon pool fragment. Moon pool. Is that like an indoor swimming pool? Cyclops bridge fragment. I don't think I have this. Yeah. Cool. Okay. What is that? Oh, that looks like alien base. Oh. Is this gonna hurt? It's hot? Oh, I can scan it. Alien vent. Yeah. Okay, so there must be a base right under here. Oh, it doesn't hurt. I'm trying to look for more parts and maybe a way into the vented area. Maximum depth reached. Wow. Damage imminent. Oh, so I can only go 200, really. Does that mean I'll also die? Or am I good to swim deeper? Oxygen oh. Efficiency greatly decreased. oh, nice. I got the Cyclops thing. Let's go. Okay, we've already got one of those, so maybe. Maybe I don't need that then. It looks like there's a wreck over there too. Oh, there's too many things. Yeah, Cyclops. I think the Cyclops was like the submarine, right? Oh, I'm surprised 200 is the max. I guess that's when you would need the Cyclops. Maybe that's that's why they give you that there. Evil grind. Ow! What? Did I just hit myself with my own seam? <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> Am I even getting any of the mushies? Does it have to be from the bottom? Sorry. There we go. Okay. Oh, how to turn tables. Hey, I, I never hit it on purpose. Except when I'm trying to hit things, you know. Did I hit this? Oh, you can. Oh, he just pees on you. Do you attack me, though? No. Okay. Can I go in here? Oh. Hello. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, these biters. Fuck you. Oh, this goes so deep, though. I need to make sure I'm not gonna damage my ship. We're almost at the bot. Ooh, yeah, 199. Oh, that's fucked up. Oh, the jellyfish. Maximum depth what? Hull damage imminent. Okay, okay, okay. I'm going, I'm going. I saw the jellyfish and I forgot to go back for it. Look, I just need to hit him, okay? I just hate the biters. I just... Because I know that they're gonna bully me otherwise. Support a microcosm of unique, possibly predatory life forms. Detecting an artificial structure somewhere in the region. Like a building? Oh, read the alien building! Oh my god, I immediately forgot. Fuck you. I need to scan this. Drooping stinger. Jellyfish. Yeah, so you don't want to touch the bottoms. Could I cut it though? No, okay. I see a thing right here. I'm just gonna scan it. Sea crown. Drooping stinger. <laughs> Can I help you? <laughs> what? What? Bro. What? Oh my god. Don't kill your fucking good lord. <laughs> Quit. Hey. Hey. See, it's the biters. It's the fucking biters. You know what we gotta do. You know what we gotta do. Fuck you. Are you dead already? Yeah, that's right, you're dead. Yeah, fuck you too. I fucking hate these things. <laughs> God. Dripping stinger. Prey, small fish, assessment, avoid. Zero photosynthetic cells detected implies carnivorous adaption to low light environment. Follicles along the tentacles are capable of detecting contact with foreign bodies, triggering an electromagnetic charge in 600 watt range. Oh. 
Perry is likely paralyzed and consumed over many weeks. Assessment avoid. Makes sense. Okay. Okay, alien vent. These vents connect to an ancient piping network that extends beyond maximal, maximum scannable depth. The pumping system is still functional. Inflow vent is drawing water from the surrounding area and pumping it into- Okay, yeah, wow, it's, it's a vent. Most creatures are avoiding the vents. Peepers can be observed entering and exiting the pipe network without signs of distress. Further research required. Does that mean I could go in there too? But then why is everyone else? avoiding it. Oh, life pod 12. That's what we were coming all the way out here for. Wow, we got so sidetracked. 250 meters deep, so I won't be able to bring the seamoth down all the way. Different types of mushies. Oh, these are kind of cute. Look glowy, guys. What are those? Okay, hold on. I got skin. Common bulb bush. I didn't even notice that one. That one's huge. I feel like that thing's gonna fuck me up. Looks electric. I think I can scan it. Oh, don't crush, please. Okay, I'm just gonna try and scan this. Giant bulb bush. Okay, so it is different. I was thinking because of the jellyfish, it's like that too. Huh? Oh yeah, there it is. Maybe if I come from the back. Oh my god, there's a bone shark too. Wait, let them fight. Let them fight. Yeah, fuck them up. Okay, I just need a... Just a quick ampule. Fuck, come back. Shit. I feel like he's gonna kill me if I touch him. Fuck, come back, please. Oh my god. Where are you going? Oh, he's chasing this guy. Oh, he's fucking dead, man. Oh my god, he's killing everything. Okay, I'm going, I'm going. 80%. Shit. Almost, 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 almost. There we go. Damn, he's killing everything. Ampule. Powerful and inquisitive predator found in inhabiting the deeper waters of the reefs and bulb bush colonies. First augmented prongs generate a powerful electrical current, which the ampule uses to inca incapacitate its prey. If a faster, stronger, hungrier predator lives on the reefs, it appears to avoid the ampule. Avoid or incapacitate. Okay, I kind of figured as much because they, you know, <laughs> but just good to know. We gotta be fast. Just get in, get out. Hopefully the bone shark guy doesn't see me. Okay, get this one. Open. Come on, repulsion cannon. Get this thing. All right, I'm going back. <laughs> okay, don't look at me. Don't look. Don't look. Yeah, it's chasing the bone sharks. That's very interesting. It didn't seem to care about me that much, but I'm sure if I got close enough to the face and or maybe tried to attack it. Here we go. Life Pod 12, Medical Officer Danby's crew log. I'm uh, not really a doctor. I know that's what my ID says, but I never have been. Cheated the medical exams. What does a doctor these days need to know about manually resetting bones? When was the last time a top surgeon actually cut someone open? Uh that's what the robots are for. Doctors these days oh. read diagnoses off of computer readouts. For that, I'm perfectly qualified. But what good is it when I'm not connected to the main network? I'm bleeding. I've got glowing green pustules growing on my hands. Oh. I run a self-scan and it tells me I've got skin irritation. <laughs> the only thing I studied in medical school was how to lie convincingly. What the hell do I know about how to treat an alien disease? Hmm. I'm actually going to die down here. Interesting. Okay. Very curious. So it seems like the doctors then are, are maybe more so like placeholders kind of? Or like maybe they're more so meant to be like a stand-in figure for people to like tell their problems and then pass that on to the robots? I'm not sure. Oh, is this a whole wreck that I can go in? I'd really rather not. As as much as I like exploring these, they stress me the hell out. <laughs> okay, I'm going in. Passing 200 meters. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oxygen efficiency is greatly okay, okay, decreased. Okay. okay, okay, we're going, we're going, we're going. I just need to see if there's a PDA. Oh, a scannable thing. Indoor grow bed. Interesting. Okay. Anything else? Oh, here water. I don't need that. Oh, here. Data box. Reinforced dive suit. Oh, okay. Shock absorption reduces physical impact velocity by 50%. That's nice. Rated for temperatures up to 70 degrees. Celsius? 
Good lord. Disclaimer, you are not invulnerable while wearing this suit. <laughs> okay. Why take chances when you can take Altera? Why? Okay. I think we also got the upgraded flippers as well. So we need synthetic fibers, two diamonds, and two titanium for the reinforced dive suit. Synthetic fibers. Okay, so maybe we don't have the ingredient for the fiber then? We did quite a bit. We built this whole base. We got our sea moth. We got to do a lot of exploring. We found new creatures, did a couple of wrecks. We've got two more life pods that are marked. And then we've probably got a couple more that have we've got clues for but aren't marked marked yet i'll do some more life pods next time all right guys so that was it for day three of subnautica if you would like to continue watching i'll just leave the full place link for its way through down in the description box and all my social links will be down there as well i feel like as a whole all of the little upgrades and stuff that we did today just made my kind of quality of life kind of playing i guess a lot better because i felt a lot more comfortable to go out a little bit farther and a little bit deeper and everything like that which i know in the grand scheme of things i really didn't go that far or anything but it was the farthest for me so i'm very happy with what we did today thank you guys again so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed as always of course don't forget subscribe and thumbs up if you're liking it helps me a lot but otherwise i'll see you guys in the next one okay bye, -bye.